Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to create a super amplifier. This is also called the Darlington transistor and it consists of basically two NPN transistors. We're going to use the 2N3904s that we used before. They have a gain of 30 to 300, standardized at 100. Now what the super amplifier, or the Darlington amplifier, what it does is it gets these two transistors lined up in this configuration so that the current going through the base of the first gets amplified say by 100 and then that amplified current goes into the base of the next one and gets amplified again so by 100 so we, we're gonna get you know 10,000 or 10,000 plus somewhere thereabouts amplification and let's Let's zoom in on the breadboard and have a think about how we can make that happen. So, I'm just going to place one transistor down. And then I'm going to look at the image and have a think about it. So they're going to have a joint collector. So the collector is sort of the opposite. It's sort of the bottom one right here. That is the collector. So that guy is going to be joint. And then the base of this transistor is going to go into the emitter of the other one. So we're going to have like, there's going to be a skipped leg, something like that. And there it is. I don't know. I think you can see sort of the, the way the legs lined up. Uh, 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 I'm going to bend this downwards. It's just about shown sufficiently. So I think the base, let's first join the collector. So we're going to go from, that's the collector that's going to go into the five volts to do an LED. And the emitter, which is the only loose emitter, which means it has to be that one there. Is going to go into. In fact, maybe I'm just going to use one of those blue ones that we had before. Will it reach? No, it won't. What about this one? And the base is going to be right here. So if you're looking at the LED, any current that's going to flow through the LED has no power source. Essentially, it's going to be electrons because the current flows from plus to minus. That means electrons are going in from the minus terminal into my body. And that flow of electrons will be amplified by like 10,000. Have a look. There it is. I don't know why it's pulsing. Quite interesting. I cannot see any pulse. But there is one. I can see it on the screen. And my own eyes tell me that it's uh, light is relatively constant. But that's pretty amazing. And I think something happens even if I just touch the wire on the outside. So there you see it highly highly interesting this is current that is going from the breadboard into my body just a few loose electrons having that effect multiplied and this is how antennas pick up um, radio waves essentially they go through amplifier configurations similar to this one so very very slight electrical fluctuations um, that you know are essentially all around us get amplified by you know tens of thousands even the millions of times and they get processed into signals so there it is it's a lot of fun to play with quite fascinating really okay bye bye i'll see you in the next tutorial